Hey Stampers, it's Liz Holloway at StampersPlus.com In this video, I want to show you how to make a cute gift box that you can hold chocolates or little trinkets inside plus I want to show you how to create this mini bow that I had mastered a while ago and it's a good way to use up all your designer paper that's been sitting around for a long time. So let me show you what you need to do. First of all, you need a 6x6 designer paper. You want to score your designer paper on a diagonal scoreboard which measures at one and a half, three, four and a half, and you're going to score the same width on all four sides. Okay, that's the third. And one more. So again, one and a half, three, four and a half. Now what you want to do is remove the board, the diagonal board, and as long as your designer paper is still, still sitting at the upper left corner, right at the three inch mark, you're going to start from the top and come down to, and meet the middle um, X that's there. And you're going to do that on all four sides. Okay. Now, because you can't see the score line on the designer paper, what I have done was I created a template for you to see. So basically, you have the one and a half inch here, the three inch here, the four and a half inch here, and this is the three inch right here. And you want to stop right at that point right there, okay? So then, once you've got all your score lines done, you're going to crease these really well. You can keep the fold like that. Now I want to use my uh, top as that as that designer paper. So it depends on which side you want. The top side should be facing you, facing on the bottom. Okay. And then I'm going to continue on to fold in. We'll unfold and then fold in top. Okay, so now you're going to unfold the top and bottom. Fold over your left and right side, and you see these angles right here. This is the line that you want to follow. So once it's like this, you're going to push these two ang um, angles in, lift up the ends and put that in place. Let me show you again on this side. So this side, you're going to push your two um, angle pieces in and you're going to put that into place. Okay. Now don't worry about the box at the moment. It will go in. Uh, you're going to actually have an insert in here, but in the meantime, what I wanted to show you was how to create the bow with it. And basically, I'm going to add a small hole right on dead center of the box. Make it large enough and just kind of wiggle around, okay? Set that aside. To make the, the bow, all you need is a three by six inch designer paper and you're going to score, I mean, you're going to cut at every half inch to create 12 pieces. Now I went ahead and did this and I'm going to remove my scoreboard so that you can see. Okay, I'm going to stack them all together and taking your crop -odel, I'm using the 1 8 inch hole and I had set my lever at 3 eighths of a 
of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to stack them all together so that I can hole punch them all together and at the same length. And you're going to punch a hole on center, repeat on the other side, making sure that they're all lined up. Okay. Now you should have a whole bunch of holes, okay? Again, depending on which side you want, I'm going to use the green polka dot side for my lid. So take your box lid again, and you're going to use the um, any retired brads rather than flooring it away. You'll keep all the long ones because you'll need the long ones in order to do the, um, the bowl together. So. I'm going to insert my brad into the center of my box underneath, turn it over, taking the one strip, I'm going to add the one strip like this, bring it over and twist and put the hole back in place. And I'll do this again. And what you want to do is make sure that you always work on the opposite side. So insert the first hole, bring this here, and twist it to the right so, and place it in the hole. Okay. Here I'm moving on a diagonal cross and then turn. Okay. So you're going to do do it for all 11 pieces and I'll show you what to do in the the 12th piece. Oops. I'm going to do this quickly. Now I've done so many of these bowls that I've kind of mastered it and played around with it and I just absolutely loved it. I, sh I showed it to uh, my client who just had her workshop Hi Patty and they were in love with it so I am too. I think this is a wow. Okay. Oops, got a kink. Now if you get a kink, just kind of, you know, fix it. Now remember, I've got 12 pieces of 12 strips here. Just keep rotating it until you get the the look that you want. Okay. And one last piece. This is my last strip. All you're gonna do is put this in, loop it around, and find your hole. Open up the brad, the prongs actually to hold that in place. Okay, so now when you're done, all you're going to do is just fluff all these loops up and arrange the uh, bow to whatever you like. And you got a mini bow. Okay, so here's that. Um, I'll be right back as I, I will get the insert. Okay, now to hide the bottom of your brad, all you're going to do is going to cut a 2 and 1 16th square inch and this will hold your box into place. Now for the bottom, 
you do the same thing, but you're going to use five and three quarters by five and three quarters, and you're going to score at one and three eighths, two and one eighth, four and three eighths, and your inserts is one and seven eighths square. So I have this here, and I'm just going to crease it quickly on all four sides. Okay, and right in here. Okay, so bring in your left and right. You're going to push the two corners in, put that in place, fold this over, okay, fold that over. Now your box has to be creased really well in order to um, have it fit perfectly. And I'll just go and cut my one and seven eight square. Here it is and insert it into your box. This will hold your box together. And you have a perfect mini box. This is great for when you're giving um, chocolates, like, like I said in the beginning, uh, for your um, work, office work people. Okay, Stick a chocolate inside, Put a box over and it looks like a mini tiny a mini gift. So here are my two gift box. I hope this helps and uh, I look forward to teaching you again. Bye bye for now.